Alex. Yeah, kia ora koutou. Um, hi, yeah, my name is Alex uh, Duncan. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it, I'll, I'll, I've only just got a few slides to show, but in a way it, it sort of illustrates uh, a commonality of what we're all working through. We actually at Cornwallis have this somewhat benefit of a, of a peninsula. So, it, you know, there's, sea, there's a sea guard that, that limits the extent of um, the... Uh, vermin we're trying to tackle um, and we also have the benefit of having about 60 dwellings all of which are surrounded by council land so you know we've, we're working with the and, and we've got really good community support for the trapping programs but but what it means also too is we can surround the uh, properties the, the private properties with with the with with uh, uh, trapping program that um, is been really well supported um, by uh, by the Waitakere local board, um, uh, Good in the Hood, and and a million dollar the million dollar trust uh, program as well, um, and uh, and that's that's really been pretty important to us. Now, if, uh, uh, Michelle, if you just flick on to the next slide, and the reason that this is she's doing it this way is because I get a clammy hand when it comes to anything to do with computers and how to make all this work. Um, but look, I just wanted to just run through very quickly uh, what, what we've uh, been working through in the, last, um, in the last six or seven years. And actually when James uh, did the first look at the, uh, uh, at Cornwallis, particularly at Puponga Point, which is the end of the peninsula you'll see marked, he recorded that the, the University of Auckland group uh, described the uh, grey-faced petrol colony as a wreckage, and actually language like that galvanised us. You know, we were just shocked by the way. You know, and so that was so in a sense that was about two thousand and fourteen, two thousand fifteen, and that galvanised us to say, "We this is dreadful. We've got to get out there and do something about it." So we've gradually started at the end of the Cornwallis Beach, uh, Cornwallis Peninsula, and have kind of moved back up the, up the peninsula um, over the last four or five years. We have the same issue, of course, with dogs. Um, the the, the, uh, the uh, Kakamatua uh, Inlet and also the, the uh, um, Cornwallis uh, beaches are, are dog friendly people can go along and take their dogs again i'm not sure we have the same sorts of issues that that help that occur elsewhere because a lot of the terrain just makes it simply too difficult for uh dogs to to get be much beyond the beach beach really um but look i just want to just really throw show you really is the program uh so <sighs> What you've seen, what you're seeing there is is the program as it stands now. There's about 300. We've got about 300, 150. Um, we've got 312, as you can see, uh, traps. We've got a. We'll have some more once we're able to sort of put more traps in. Once the COVID, uh, once we're able to, of which about 160 are um, dot 200s and 152 are A24s, which are continuing to kill. Even though we're not out, able to get out and um, and and check, uh, which is uh, pretty important to us, really. It's been uh, um, the the other thing is too that uh, with uh, generous support from the trusts and uh, with the council providing us with uh, twenty uh, doc two hundred traps. Uh, in the next three or four months, we you'll see the western side of the peninsula there. Um, Kakamatua, we uh, we intend to have that fully covered as well. Um, so that that in the next three or four months, hopefully, will be from the road, uh, Huia Road, right right through uh, to to where the um, uh, the Sprags Memorial is. Through all of that, we'll, we'll we, we intend to have covered um, again with a mix of A24 traps, which uh, some people are, 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 I'll show some numbers shortly, but 
there's, there's some de degree of scepticism about them, but actually we've we've found them to be very effective. We've tracked through TRAP and Z as is the, is the, uh, the, how we measure. Um, and that the A24s have done the work for us and it's really reduced the need we've had to um, for volunteers. Um, we have about, there's about 20 volunteers that currently manage the, the peninsula and we will probably have another four or five once we get the uh, Kakamatua area covered. So that's, that's um, that um, just, uh, we just, I think, noted, um, uh, sorry, yeah, that's right. Thank you to the move, next, move to the next slide. The next slide is kind of interesting um, in that it shows basically the catches that by species since we started in 2017, was perhaps an earlier, earlier we started, but we started monitoring from 2017, August, August 19, 2017, through to um, the 31st of July, uh, which we kind of stopped at because of um, limits on what, where we could go. But it's kind of interesting that, um, uh, you know, you've seen a progressive increase in the, uh, the um, trapping of rats and um, a steady increase of stoats. Um, and the, the nice feature of the trap NZ is that you can actually see the hotspots as to how you're going. So you can see from the left in 2017, all the, all the action was at the uh, end of the peninsula. We extended that extensively further down the peninsula in 2019, 2020 further, you can see. Um, and if anything, we're seeing the, the hot spots actually falling, which indicates perhaps um, uh, effectiveness of, of the trapping program. You can see that also too, though, that from Kakamatua, the, the uh, pests get across at low tide, and you'll see that's why on the western side of the Cornwallis Peninsula, Karangahape, you can see there's still a hot heat mark there, and that's continuing to be an important uh, area to, to trap. Um, uh, then basically I've just sort of shown, move on to the next one very quickly. Um, the uh, traps by, uh, total traps, um, move, yeah, that's, that's right. Um, th these are traps um, related to the trapping program, the effectiveness of the comparison between DOC 200s and A24s. And you can see from that that the A24s are still doing their job. And um, and at the 12 months up to uh, uh, July this year, we're not, we're not far sh short now of having um, about 1,000 um, traps, uh, 1,000 hit hits um, with a predominance, obviously, of, um, of rats. Uh, but also in increasingly and in significantly of of stoats. Um, uh, we had we for the for the twelve months we had thirty two stoats just on along the peninsula. And then the last the, 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 we're nearly to the end. Um, go to the flip to the next one, and just for uh, which uh, is kind of interesting that. Uh, we see a kind of a cyclical pattern. Obviously the the Trapping has been increasing gradually, but it's kind of interesting. Quite, it's notable that um, there's always a bit of a dip. Uh, there's already a, always a, a bit of a, a um, an increase in hits in in August. You know, um, we're at the end of sort of spring, and that's largely uh, because. Um, towards the was well, let, let me start again. That that it seems like the the rats eat uh, you know whatever it is that that they they uh, there's plenty of um, uh, nuts and other things that that, 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 that the rats will have. But it's it's interesting that in an area that where we're getting a lot of hits is towards the end of um the winter when they're essentially um uh, perhaps running out of food and so they're going to be more likely to take bait 
uh, and like likely to take into traps. So you can sort of see that in 2018, August to October, you know, and then August again, a big tip up of the next year. Again, in August 2020, another kick up. Um, so I, we just think that's kind of in, of interest, really, the, the, the seasonal nature of the of the trapping. Um, uh, and then just I'll finish with just a couple of um, shots from the from the um, colony. Uh, we've placed, we've uh, repurposed um, three penguin uh, trap. That's penguin um, hut, hut, huts to to uh, be homes for the the oi, um, and that's. Uh, and uh, so in those are, we re we regularly check those and um, and here's some pictures so we have a camera at the end of the peninsula just to uh, see what's happening there's some uh, some oil uh, um, with, with ropes you can see coming down it's all a bit hilly uh, and uh, the and then the last slide sorry move to the last slide and and um, we're just uh, noting that. Um, that we've not only we've, the, the uh, impetus to the community to actually do the trapping program has benefited other fauna and flora actually in, in terms of growth um, and uh, we, we're seeing more wetters, we're seeing more lizards and, and, and um, uh, other native we're seeing unfortunately some non-native uh, but, but certainly wetters and other things are doing well. Um, uh, the, the banded rail, uh, we've had car car uh, uh, regularly being sighted uh, until quite recently at, at, at Cornwallis. And the, the goal of the Kakama tour uh, is, it's actually for being a dog beach, it's a very sensitive area as well, um, where you've got some quite unique uh, vulnerable um, geckos, but also to um, a, 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 a moths, a kauri moth, which is there, but nobody's quite why it's there. Uh, and it's all the more reason to protect that. So we hope that in a, in a year's time, we'll be able to show um, some action in improving um, the, uh, the western side of the peninsula. So I'll stop there. Um, so, um, Thank you, Alex.